Hi, welcome to Homeless at Home. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. My name is Josh Blake. I'm a chef with Russian Associates here in New York City. Uh, originally from Kingston, Jamaica. Came here about six years ago, so we're going to add a little, you know, flavor to the hummus. Uh, today we're going to be making a beef and veggie hummus taco, two different types of fillings. Uh, but before we start that, most importantly, especially now in this time, you got to wash your hands. Always wash your hands before you cook. Make sure you lather. Get between the nails, between the fingers. Warm water. You can deal with hot, too hot, whichever one works. And yeah, we can start the recipe right now. You can see I had everything pre-prepared just to get a head start. All the vegetables are diced. The onions are cut. We have the mango peeled already and just cut into little segments so we can grill them off. We're just going to start with a quick pickle on the red onions. So literally all the pickling liquid is very basic is a red wine vinegar, water, sugar, salt. We're just going to bring it to a boil, add the onions to it, turn it off, let it cook. Basically, it's just a quick pickle. You're not going to have it stay overnight. It's very easy. You can hold for a week or more in the liquid. So it's a good thing to do ahead. You can have for the next week. And we're also going to get a little grill on just to get it hot. And we're just going to grill the, the mangoes. While that is heating, real quick, we'll make the little crema in the, uh, in the ninja. Again, if you don't have anything to blend with, you can always just mash the avocado and kind of just incorporate the hummus and the sour cream and all the other ingredients, lemon juice and salt pepper at this mash. That helps out tremendously. Let me just straight in. Add the sour cream. Get a fresh spoon for the hummus. We're going to use the roasted garlic hummus for this just to give it a little extra body, a little extra flavor. The roasted garlic is always really nice to have in any dish. And of course, the recipe is there on the screen. You can follow with me. Squeeze the lemon juice. If you don't have fresh lemon juice, you can always use the bottle lemon juice. I'd say go a little bit less if you use in the bottle lemon juice. That's a little bit more concentrated, so the flavors from there definitely vary. Just a little touch of salt. Again, to taste, always taste your food as you go. Everybody's taste preference vary. So you never actually know how much salt you put in, just so be very mindful of that. You get it nice and smooth. Uh, I had some pre made, so it would be good to plate later on. And then we can go back over to the stove. As you can see, it's come to a boil. So we just add the onions in. Make sure it's submerged. Turn it off. Now that's good to go. That can be set in the back. And to be ready to go by the time we're ready to cook. Cook the uh, meat and plate after. So we get some gloves on real quick. And if you don't have a little grill outside to do it or even a grill plate, you can just roll a stir and like do a quick saute to the mangoes. You just want to get a little caramelization on it to get the sweetness out. It'll pair pretty well with the pickled red onions and the meat. So we'll give that a quick grill on either side. If you don't want to do mangoes, you can obviously do any other fruit. 
honestly. Uh, I think pineapple is a good one to go with. Again, get a little sweetness. Um, actually, I shouldn't say any other fruit, but definitely pineapple or mango is a good choice to go with this. Everything will balance off pretty well. You get like nice sweet and tanginess from the pickles. You get the sweetness from the, the mangoes. And then the heartiness from the vegetables and beef, for sure. So, you just want to get a, just a little grill marks on either side. They'll go a little bit longer. Yeah. Get this a little stir again. And it's a very quick recipe. Um, we're going to basically cook everything in these three pans and the one pot. But for sure, you can cook the vegetables if you, you cannot do either filling. But if you're going to do both, cook the vegetables to start and then go back in with the beef. And then we'll finish up with the tortillas. The tonga. And again, go at your own pace. Um, cooking is fun. It's meant to be fun. It's definitely the best way to get to know people and to kind of enjoy their company in this time. Um, you're definitely around your family. If you have kids, you're around your kids a lot more. I feel like when you feed them, that's the only time you get to sit down. So make it a little, bit, a little fun, you know? Memorial Day is coming up this weekend. It's beautiful out right now. This is a fun thing to do. Maybe have a little picnic in your backyard. Even at the dinner table. So a little bit about me, I'm from Jamaica originally, Kingston, Jamaica, and, uh, Jamaica, Queens. Um, came here about six, a little over six years ago for culinary school. Decided I love New York City so much, I'll just move down there and stay. And yeah, I've been here since, been with Restaurant Associates for the last three years. Great experience I've had there. Definitely gave me an opportunity to learn a lot. Try a lot of different flavors, learn a lot of different cultures. So I think it helps a lot in terms of my culinary identity, for sure. So we're gonna take the mangoes off, they're good to go. We'll slice those up later on. Now we're just gonna get to the vegetables, a little canola oil to start. We have it around a medium high heat. Let's get the oil hot. Um, when you cook in vegetables, you, tend, you definitely wanna start with what takes a longer time. So I kind of have things lined up in that way. So we're going to start with the sweet potatoes. If you don't want to do sweet potatoes, again, it's spring going into summer. It's a great time for squash. There's a lot of beautiful squash being produced right now this time of year. Uh, you can definitely change it up with beans. You don't have to do black beans. You can really go for what you want. Corn, if you can get corn on the cob, get it fresh. Great to do. You know, cut it off the cob. You get a beautiful char on it. It's great. The so oil's pretty hot. We're just going to add the sweet potatoes. Let this cook for a few minutes. And again, we're doing everything in the one pan. Just turn it off. So we're going to do the vegetables again first, take it out. We're going to do the beef. And then we're going to heat the tortillas up. So, not a lot of mess to make. It'll be pretty quick to do. Easy cleanup, a little fun, vibrant dish to have. Um, especially Memorial Day coming up and your Fourth of July coming up, you want to do this recipe. Obviously, you don't want drinks to pair with it. So you can always do like any type of margarita. Uh, if you have mango, why not do a mango margarita? Or for my preference, I'll do a rum punch. You know, it's the, the go-to for us in Jamaica. You get your coconut rum, your dark rum, some orange juice, lemon juice. A little grenadine and a little fruit punch, good to go. You wouldn't even know there's alcohol in there. And obviously, you can just do that little mix of fruit, fruit juices, and just to have it a little bit on the peanut side. Maybe you don't want to be drinking any alcohol right now. This is your time to cleanse. Maybe not. We'll see. Now we're just gonna add the red peppers to it. And again, you're just going down the line of what takes the longest to cook.
super easy dish. Um, play around with it, make it your, your own. Again, food doesn't need to be serious, especially at home. You can just have fun with it. I've uh, definitely done a lot of just cool things out of the fridge for the last few weeks and see what happens. You know, maybe throw a few things on the grill if you have it. If you haven't tried it, it doesn't hurt. Again, you want the vegetables to be cooked, but not mushy. So definitely watch it if you need to take one up and taste it to see where it is. Two potatoes are about halfway there, so I'm going to add the corn. A little toss. Aiming to get a little color on the corn to add that extra level of flavor. Let it go for a few more minutes and turn the heat up a little bit. Grab the salt and pepper. Again, hummus can be used in a variety of different ways, you know? It's mostly used as a dip. A lot of people tend to go, you know, let me get a chip or let me get crudite and just have hummus there to dip. Um, you can use it in really anything. If you want, you can make a little hummus bowl and just have like pickled vegetables around it, maybe go Middle Eastern route. You're going to have shawarma. Here we're doing with a little Mexican style, you know, we get tacos with it. We made an avocado crema with hummus. So versatile. Delicious, healthy. Sabra has all these amazing flavors to add to it. So the variety is on top. Now I'm going to season that with the black beans in. A little salt. A little bit of black pepper. I already had the uh, cumin pre measured out to have ready on hand. It's almost ready to go. We're not going to actually cook the cucumbers. We're just going to throw it in, turn the heat off, and just let it naturally get uh, heated through. There's a lot of moisture in cucumbers, so you don't want any of that liquid to seep out and affect your, your tacos at the end. Um, yeah, very easy setup, very easy clean. Uh, clean up at the end of it, have everything kind of set up and going in one hand. That, that way, you know, after you enjoy your tacos, you drink, whatever it is, you don't have to worry about a big mess in the kitchen. I'm just going to grab a bowl to add it to. And then we can start on the beef again, same pan, less of a mess, less of a cleanup. Unless you like to clean your choice and use different pans for everything. So for the beef again, a canola oil to start and it'll already be hot. And we're just going to brown the beef, a high to medium high heat. Well, you're a little hot. And that's the sound you want to hear. You know your pan's not hot if you don't hear that sizzle. And you want that heat so the meat doesn't boil. You want to get that nice crust on it. Color flavor. As they say, color and cool flavor is fun. Fun is that nice brownness that builds up on the bottom of the pan and definitely gets the crust on the piece. So you want to keep that. So always allow your pan time to heat up. And 
And if you don't have ground meat or you'd rather do it with a piece of steak, definitely do it with a piece of steak. You get it marinated a few hours ahead of time just to kind of get that flavor in. Saute and again, high heat. You can even grill it in the spice and have it in your tacos and stuff. Well. And again, this is going to go quick. I say if you do everything at a moderate pace, you'd be done 20, 30 minutes. With the prep, I know maybe 40 minutes tops, but it's fun. It'd be fun to do with your kids. It'd be fun to do with your family, your loved ones, to pick up a gallery. Yeah, I have really all the choices in the world. You don't want to move it too much. You want to let that crust develop before you start to move it. Is that there are a seal crust of those and all that? That's perfect. Kaylee has a question. If I don't have a blender, any other suggestions? Yeah, mash your avocado with a fork and maybe just mix everything in. You know, you really just want the flavor. It doesn't have to be super smooth. Texture is always good in food. You're going to have a bite from the vegetables, a bite from the beef. As long as you get the avocado pretty smooth, you're good to go. And then that crust on. Michelle has a question. Can I make most of this recipe on my outdoor grill if I wanted to? For sure. You can leave all your vegetables cold, grill it, and then cut it after. Good to go, you know? Again, if you don't have, if you rather do any grill, use a piece of steak. Frank steak's pretty good to use. Anger steak's another one really good to use. You want something that has a little fat in it as well to get that juiciness and flavor in. Well, yeah, grill, and again, the, the weather is perfect for it. Definitely go on the grill. Chef, Abby, if I wanted to make these vegetarian, what could I add or change to make sure they're still filling? So we're doing two different types of tacos just so you have the balance. And again, you have like the vegetarian, the strictly vegetarian, and then you have beef. So you have the choice. Um, again, if you want to add some extra stuff to it, go ahead. Radish is another good thing to, to add to it, have a little shaved radish on top. Um, again, squash, perfect time for squash. You can get some butternut, some honey nut, any of the, the summer squashes that are, are coming this season right now would be great to add. So the beef's about brown all the way through. I'm just gonna add the tomato paste. We'll cook this out for about three to five minutes. Add a little body. And nice banana as well. A little steak, so I'm gonna add my garlic. Garlic burns pretty easily. So I don't like to add it in before the beef or before the uh, tomato paste. Give it about a minute on the tomato paste and add the garlic, give it enough time to cook through, add a, a nice garlic with fragrance and flavor into the beef. And we're just going to season. I have all of the seasoning for the beef and hair. So you have the oregano, cumin, coriander, and a little cayenne. And a little salt. Little black pepper. And the beef ready. So it's going to the side. We're just going to get the tortillas a nice little char on both sides. If you don't have a gas grill, again, one pot, one pan, take the beef out, you have that nice little flavor in it, and you just give a nice little warm on both sides with the tortilla. Here, luckily we have gas, so we have the gas going. 
straight on top. We'll get it heated through nice and soft to go. And just be quick. I'm doing it on a high heat. Again, if you don't feel comfortable, turn it down. You can go a little slower. Everything is your comfort. Make it your recipe. Have fun with it. Another fun thing to do at any barbecue. Everybody loves tacos. Everybody loves hummus, why not combine the two together? So I got the tortillas nice and heated through. Now we can go and plate. We'll come back to this side. So I had a few things done ahead just to make things a little bit easier. For the spread on the tortillas, you're gonna use the plastic hummus. I have made some pickle red onions last week, so you can see that they still hold up pretty well. I have the mango, we have it sliced. We'll definitely slice this and add it to it. Always be careful with a knife. If you're gonna walk with a knife, walk it at your side. If you're gonna cut, keep your fingers tucked in. If you don't feel comfortable, take your time, don't go at any uh, fast pace. Make it your pace, whatever you feel comfortable with. So again, nice little ribbons. Presentation is always nice. Makes people feel a little better when they're eating, you know. You always eat your eyes first. So definitely always start. So we start with the plastic hummus on the bottom, a nice spread. Chef Josh, can you use any hummus flavors? Any hummus flavor you want. It's your choice. They all go really well with this. So I ended up using it, the roasted garlic and the classic. Can't go wrong with the classic, and again, can't go wrong with the roasted garlic. But if you want to use the red pepper and those flavors out there, you can do it. So hummus on the bottom. And then we're going to take a little bit of the filling. We're just going to do two of the vegetables to start. The hummus. Give you a little cup in your hand. A little vegetable filling. Add a little crema. Pickle red onion. Very bright and vibrant dish. Again, perfect for this time of year. And the mangoes, your choice on fruit. Pineapple is another good choice to use. I've tried papaya grilled before, it's gone pretty well. And we do another one with the veggie. So, again, a little scoop of hummus to start. Fill in. I made enough. There's a big family here, so we gotta we gotta eat later. They're all waiting for lunch. So I pretty much made a double recipe on this. Again, the crema. We'll pickle red onions. A little mango. Two. I'm gonna grab the beef. Do two with the beef. Same thing again. We'll spread the hummus. Put the beef. And you can really smell all the spices and the garlic coming out of the beef. Crema, the red onions, the 
mango. And you know, you can't just have one taco. This we make them four. You gotta, you gotta make sure you, you get all the all the flavor in there. One's never enough. So been good for Taco Tuesday. We're a day late. It's okay. We got the four tacos. Get on the plate. A little lime around it. Actual cilantro. There's no cheese in this recipe, just to, just to have that. We already have the sour cream. Again, you don't have to use the crema. You can use make a little salsa for it. If you don't want to do cilantro, you maybe, again, do radishes. Um, any cheese is pretty good for it. Cotija is another good one to go with. Tacos, you can even just do regular shredded, shredded um, pepper jack with it. It would be pretty good. So it looks, it looks pretty good. It's very appetizing. Perfect for the season. Uh, do you have any questions? I'm going to take a fire. I'm starting. How is it? Perfect. Yeah, everything. Yeah, nice little citrus kick. From the lemon juice we added to the corn, it's perfect. Pickles and again the sweetness from the, the mangoes per hit perfectly with the beef, all the spices, and it goes really well with the vegetables as well. No more questions? I think we're good to go. Again, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Chef Josh, here at Restaurant Associates. Um, look out for more episodes for La Hummus at Home from my fellow chefs in the community. Uh, have a good day. Bye.